here's uh, here's this. <laughs> High school graduation for Jorge Rivera. I feel like my eyebrows were a little too trimmed there. <laughs> left him with some laughs, but more so, a new chapter. So I went back to school and uh, did information systems because data re really appeals to me. He was brought to the States from Chihuahua, Mexico at just six months old. With the help of DACA, he's now attending CU Denver, just a year out from graduating. And um, obviously to have a better life for me and my family and to make more money um, and obviously to just get ahead in life, so. The anxiety that comes with an uncertain future for the program due to a Supreme Court case can be taxing. Um, so we get like emails, I'll wake up in the morning and it'll be, oh, alert, important doc information. Honestly, it just raises a lot of anxiety not knowing what tomorrow's gonna bring in terms of like DACA and my future. And he admits with many races still too close to call in the midterms, there's concern that the outcome of the elections could have an impact on the program and its recipients, known as dreamers. It kind of sucks um, that it has to be political or my, literally where my life is going to be at. In mid-October, several Colorado-based university chancellors and presidents signed a letter to the state's congressional delegation calling for permanent legal status for dreamers. Oh, yeah. I'm Regardless of the election outcomes, Rivera remains hopeful. <laughs> yeah, just take it day by day. Politics aside, um, we need to come together as a country so we could be able to progress.